Jumbo. That's Swahili for hello. One of the few Swahili words I know. You think I know more for all this time I spent here, but unfortunately I don't, but I am trying. Well, it's good to be speaking to you face to face. It's been a long time since we've done it. I know this really isn't face to face, but I guess it will have to do for now. Even though I'm not there, my heart's there. I love all of you. I care for you. And I know you do the same for me. And your, your thoughts, your prayers, your words of encouragement, final support, it, it means a lot to me. And I greatly appreciate it. And if it wasn't for you and what you have done, I couldn't be here and this Bible school wouldn't be happening. Now, at the time I'm recording this, yesterday was graduation, and I'm very excited for that. It was a lot of work getting graduation ready. We had to prepare the grounds, we had to cut the grass. I even helped them cut the grass for a little while, and they laughed at me because I was very awkward at how I did it, but I tried to help them. We, we had to pick up trash around the grounds. We had to prepare beds for guests that would be staying. We had to do a lot of cleaning. We had to clean the church. We had to rent sound equipment and rent chairs. There was a lot of work in the kitchen. We had to cut chickens. They had to cut up vegetables. They had to cook rice. They had to clean plates. We had to decorate. Uh, Friday night, I was up very late with the kids, working on decorations. We made paper chains, probably that could reach from here to America. Well, no, that's an exaggeration, but it seemed like it at the time. And even after I went to bed, the kids stayed up. They loved dec decorating, and so they kept working on it for a little while after even I went to bed. The children are, are such good workers, but I did have to push them a little bit extra this week because even though they're good workers, we had to do a lot this week. And so I pushed them a little and I told them, hey, I promise you if you get all this done, you'll get cake and sodas and chicken. And that gave them encouragement and they pushed on. There's also a lot of work I had to do in the office, preparing the diplomas preparing an order of service, ironing robes, uh, printing invitations, but we got it all done, praise the Lord. And the graduation went very well, except for the fact that we started an hour and a half late. That was beyond my control. 11 o'clock came and there was only like four people in the church besides me. And so we waited and we waited and we waited and people started to trickle in from all different places. But one group of the singers that were supposed to sing didn't come until an hour after it was supposed to start, and the other group didn't come from till an hour and a half after it was supposed to start. But eventually we started. I was frustrated at first, but I calmed down. I figured, that, hey, this is their graduation. This is for them. And if they don't mind coming an hour and a half late, then they won't mind staying an extra hour and a half. And everything went very well. We had over 80 people. I did a head count at one time, but I lost count. But it was over 80 people here. And that was a great encouragement for the students. A lot of their friends and family came to share in the celebration with them. Uh, the bishop, Bishop Richard Minyawe, he did a wonderful job. And he preached the Word of God. He preached about having an axe and... You don't go to Bible school to get an axe, but he said you go to Bible school to sharpen that axe. You can try your best and maybe eventually after a lot of work, push down a tree with a dull axe. But it's so much easier if you sharpen that axe. And that's what he encouraged all the people there about the need for Bible school. And the reason why the students came and spent all that time was to get their axe sharpened so that they can do work for the kingdom of God. And he did a fantastic job. And everything just went together so well 
and the students were so happy and encouraged and we went to the fellowship hall afterwards and ate rice and chicken and we had sodas and we had cake and it was it was just a lot of fun um, we were short staffed just because of how much they need to be done so the kids are clearing plates while brother Jonas and I are are pretending to be waiters and bring cake to everyone while the workers cut up the cake and it was it was a lot of work but it was a blast and the students really enjoyed it there was a lot of positive feedback from visitors showing interest in the school and a lot of invitations for me to go and visit different places and preach and teach so I'll have to be praying for the direction from the Lord about that but overall the graduation was a wonderful success and I thank God for it it was a milestone this is the first set of students that have graduated out of this school and that's wonderful that's something we can put a marker here and say this is what the Lord has done. It's not the end, but it is a great start for us and a great milestone. And it was a little sad. I've, I've spent a lot of time with these students, almost a year of my life with them, and spent a lot of time talking with them, what little I can say in Swahili and what little they could say in English. Spent time with them and I grew real close to them, so it was a little sad knowing that they're going to be leaving. But it's also extremely exciting because they'll be going back to their churches and sharing with their people the words that God has given them in the school. And that's why I came, to help further the gospel. And I pray that it will happen that way and that God will be glorified. And so. It was a great success, and I can't be excited enough about it. There's some pictures up on the River Center's Facebook page you can go and look at, and hopefully soon we'll be getting some video up too that you can see. Now, by the time you're seeing this, I will be in Sangita teaching a seminar. I'll be going to Jacob's Village. I've been to Sangita twice before, but not to this village, so it'll be a new territory for me. Jacob is our translator. He's one of the students that has graduated and he has volunteered to continue on with us when the new students come. And so that's a great thing. But I'll be in his village for just about a week and I'll be teaching and I'm looking forward to what God will do. I'll be teaching from Beatitudes and from Matthew chapter 5 and I'm just looking forward to it. Now after the seminar, I will be returning to Moshi for several weeks. It won't be, new students won't come until May 5th, but during that time, I'll be helping out here. There'll be two primary goals. One will be to get the office in better order. We have a new secretary, and so we're going to try to get her set up with some technology and some formulas to try to get things done better and increase communication between here and America. And so I'll be doing that, as well as also be preparing for the new students that will be coming in May. Uh, we should be having 27 back from Singida, uh, two from Wicca, and one from Moshe, so for a total of 30. I talked to Bishop Minyawe today, and he seems convinced that all 27 will return from Singida. And so that is exciting to be having all those students back again. And I'm just looking forward to what God will do here in the school. I'll be teaching for six weeks after they come. And so that will put me about the middle of June that I will be done. And shortly thereafter, I should be returning to America, Lord willing. But until then, again, I appreciate your prayers. And if you want to send me an email or call me or text me, please do that. And I love you. I thank you so much for all that you have done. I can't appreciate it enough or express my thanks enough for all that you have done because you may think it's not a lot, but to me it is a lot. And so thank you for all that you have done and God bless.